hey guys in this video let's learn about the fibonacci series how what is fibonacci series and how do you print that using batch script in a very simple way i'm going to teach so without making any delay let's move on to our screen and let's get started see what is a fibonacci series first okay so here if you see the first number the very first number will start from let's say one okay can many people will start from zero let's start from one okay so one next will be two now the third number will be submission of the previous two sum you know addition of previous two so two plus one becomes three same way three plus two becomes five five plus three becomes eight eight plus five becomes thirteen right thirteen plus eight becomes twenty one so this is the fibonacci series getting it now how what kind of a logic i have to implement what is the logic we will take some three variables a b c the initial value of the variable a will be 0 b will be 1 and c will be the sum of this one c we will keep it as 0 right and we will write a simple logic which is going to add a plus b to produce the value of c right after that is done we will transfer the value of b to 1 and then we will transfer the value of c to b so what is the meaning when the first time we will put everything inside a loop i will show you everything inside the loop first this is what the initial values are right it will do the sum and the c value got produced now the second time when the loop runs we will transfer right within i mean within the loop we will transfer after writing the output we will transfer the b value 1 to a so a will have one what the next time when the loop runs the a will have the value 1 and then the c value we will transfer it to b so the c value will again have 1 so 1 plus 1 will produce the output 2 okay same way the same thing we will repeat okay if you see the b value will come to a which is 1 and the c value will come to b which is 2 so 1 plus 2 will produce 3 same thing you know 2 will come to a and the c will come to 3 so 2 plus 3 becomes 5 so this output our main aim is to produce the output okay people can create multiple various logics to get the same output okay the output is important so let's see how this can be done on our basket okay so what i did i have to first write uh, three variables okay set a a is equals to zero okay all you have to do simply first once you create these three variables right you will be you will be you know how to do it you yourself will get to know how to get the output okay just remember that i have to create this three variables a b c a b will only have the value one c will have zero okay if you if you write this much you will be anyways you will be able to understand how I, I should build after this what we will do we will use a for loop for slash l slash l percentage percentage g in all this i have taught in the previous multiple videos i have taught this so one comma one comma let's say we would like to print up to 10 times okay 10 times you can make it 100 uh, no, we will just go with 10 types that should be fine okay so the loop got created now what we will do inside the loop we have to write the logic okay now remember because the variables that we have defined outside of the for loop when you try to add or do anything it will still have it will always continue to have the same value it will not change its value so that uh, for this one i have created another video the previous video set local what is the use of set local you know you have to watch that video okay otherwise your fibonacci series cannot be built must must watch that set local video the previous video you must watch to understand this okay so set local and then uh, i have to write something called enable delayed expansion okay be ensure that your spelling is correct and there is nothing wrong while you are writing this delayed expansion okay enable delayed expansion all right looks like it's correct now here let's write the logic so what i will do i will say set c equals to because it will be a dynamic value so i will have to put it within the exclamation mark plus and i will use the exclamation mark for b so what would happen initial value is 0 b value is 1 so 0 plus 1 will become 1 so the c output will be 1 will be printed so, so that we can write echo and we can go with c exclamation mark okay within the exclamation mark i'll write c so it will first print 1 so our job is done 
very good after that okay once it, it has printed uh, uh, one what i should do i should transfer the value remember i have to first transfer the b value to a then second time i have to transfer the c value to b many people what they will do they will transfer c value to b then b to a so what would happen the c value will go to b and the same c value is going to a because you have transferred it to b so remember the sequence first what i have to do i have to type set i have to transfer the b value to a so a equals to b okay so the b value is 1 so 1 will get transferred to a now the same thing we will do set b equals to if you just write this logic you know in a you write this line on the top and this line below the your output would be completely different okay because because you are actually transferring the c value to a by transferring c to b b to a okay so this is correct this is the how, this is how you will be writing okay after that we can simply say pause and let's run it let's save this and run this okay now you can see the output has come 1 2 3 5 8 13 21 34 50, 50, 50. okay so 10 times it has printed if you want to put some logic you know many times you would like to ask right enter uh, this one so you can use a prompt so set p equals to uh, let's say max is equal to enter a number or number of times you want to print the fibonacci okay okay we'll simply say enter a number give it a space so done now here the max has the value so what you can do you can simply write percentage max percentage okay instead instead of a hard coded value you are putting a variable so let's save it and run this so first thing it is going to ask me enter a number let's say i want to say 15 okay enter so you can see 15 times it is going to print the output for me so it is adding and printing the next values getting it guys so this is about the fibonacci series pretty simple one but again if you remember this and how you have to transfer first you transfer the b value to a then c value to b if you write you know in a um, reverse way uh, it will print a different value it will multiply it will appear like it has multiplied okay so thank you guys for watching this video let's move on to our next topic i hope you are learning and you are making a note of all of this so that anytime you would like to refer, you can just refer and revise it. So thank you guys for watching. Let's move on to our next topic.